Hello, welcome to SUSPM Maths channel. In this video, we will learn Maths SSM Form 4, Chapter 10, Consumer Mathematics, Financial Management. In this chapter, we will learn Financial Planning and Management. And in this topic, there are uh, five, five subtopics you will learn. Setting goals, evaluating financial status, creating financial plan, carrying out financial plan, and finally, reviewing and revising the process. In financial planning and management, financial management is a process that involves managing money from source of income into saving, expenses, protection, and investment. This are the process. Setting goals, evaluating financial status, creating financial plan, Carrying out financial plan and lastly, you we we win and you win the final the process. Next is set, setting goals. What is setting goals? Setting goals is the first step in financial management process. The financial goals must be prioritized and be specific. There are short-term financial goals and long-term financial goals. Short-term financial goal can be achieved in less than a year. Short-term financial goal do not involve a large amount of money. It could be like buying food, buying green, that kind of stuff. For long-term financial goal, long-term financial goal usually take more than five years to achieve. Long-term financial goals involve a large amount of money, such as buying house or buying a car. Okay, what is smart financial goals? This meaning that when you are setting goals, you need to be smart. And the smart is like an acronym. So we will learn. Uh, setting clear financial goals is the most important aspect in financial planning. Financial goals set based on smart concept will be will help us control all our spending in order to achieve the desired financial goals. There are S. For specific, there are M for measurable, there are A for attainable, for there are T for time bound, and there are R for realistic. So, what is all of this meaning? Specific, you must be specific. What do you want in what do you need? What do you want in buying things? Measurable, you need to measure the money you have. Attainable. You need to see that if the item is attainable. Realistic. You need to be realistic when buying goods. Time bound. You need to make sure that the product lasts short or lasts long. Next is evaluating financial status. Asset and liabilities are benchmark. Asset and liabilities, li liabilities are the benchmark for evaluating our financial that is, a sample of assets are cash, saving, real, real estate investment, fixed deposit, unit trust, all company shares. A sample of liabilities are bank loan, credit card, and other financial obligations. More than that, there are other liabilities such as outstanding payment, which are unsettled rent, utility bills, credit card bills, and others. Next is creating financial plan. Life management based on financial planning help, help us monitor our cash flow. Income and expenses are main component in financial planning. Income, in, income consists of active income and passive income. These are active income are salaries and commission. Passive income are consists of rent receive, interest receive, Dividend and other investment. Expenses consist of fixed expenses and variable expenses. Fixed expenses are uh, have when insurance payment, card installment, and credit card payment. Variable expenses 
petrol expenses, groceries, bill payment, and water bill payment. A positive cash flow will exist if the total in income exceeds the total expenses, expenses. A negative income will exist if the total income is less than total expenses. Step before creating a financial plan. So these are, these are steps. First, you need to define the short-term and long-term goals. You need to make an initial budget to achieve each goal. You need to calculate, calculate monthly saving needed to achieve the short-term and long-term goals. Analyze spending behavior. Set a time frame to achieve such, such goal. And determine the income strategies that will help to achieve financial goals. Next is carrying out financial plan. To uh, carrying out a financial plan, turn the financial planning into action that can be implemented. When carrying out a financial plan, we must follow the plan at early stage. We must be ready to change and compare the plan, monthly expenses and actual Expenses. This gives us an opportunity to identify any wastes and has reduced the actual expenses in order to meet the monthly expenses as planned. Example. These are some example. I will write this. Uh, uh, this person has his plan to pay the electricity bill 150. But the actual expenses the pay in real world is 200 ringgit. For food, he plan to only pay about 600 ringgit. But the actual expenses are 150. So, what need what need what the person need to do if if the situation like this? They need to cut spending and go back to the uh, original plan monthly expenses they need to make sure that uh that the it is uh, the bill stay as planned like electricity bill need to pay 150 the food need to pay as 600 or you could change the plan monthly expenses <coughs> sorry um you could make the plan uh go to 150 to 200 food become 850. If that happen, you need to change other expenses to lower, lower to lower so that you could maintain these expenses, this one and this one. Now next subtopic. We reviewing and revising the progress. You we we reviewing and revising the progress of a financial plan from time to time. It's important to make sure the cash flow is always positive. Change the financial goal if they are not realistic to money income. Example: I have a monthly income of one hundred fifty per month per month per month suddenly i got uh i got a bad a bad uh i i got my my employer made me uh give me deduction for my income to 100 so what you need to do you need to Yes, your uh, my, uh, financial planning so that you could accommodate this income. Okay, that's all. Thank you for having me, and I, oh, I hope the best for your SPM. Thank you.